Tis Friday, yep. my friends. Tis Friday. We are live today at five o'clock. How do you do it? Live at five. Live at five. Live at five. Um, and we are flying along. Uh, it's great uh, at the minute. And as I say, we're all the room all organised. The lads are on the ball. As I say, they work better when I'm not here. Yes. So I think from now on, I'm going to retire. I think that's the deciding factor in all of this, that uh, Anthony shouldn't be here all to all. Yes. I much prefer out meeting and greeting people. And, and kissing babies. And, and kissing babies sort of and malarkey. drinking. And drinking, actually. Just drinking, actually. I much prefer that. I think mm. it's, it's much better for me. Uh, today is Friday, as I say, so we always touch on our charity items. and But also, I wanted to mention Potjean. Poutine, my friend, Potjean. Um, there is a huge selection of Potjean in this month. And the great thing is now it's become getting to a place where there's not one brand. There's several different brands yeah. doing it. There's several different styles of it. It there, It's coming in, in, in multiple flavours now. Uh, barrel rested. You can imagine the potching having a nice wee sleep in the barrel. Yes. And I'm not sure if that's actually fact. It's probably in there rowing with the barrel going, come on, you uh, probably fighting. anyhow but that's not what Pochin does to you Pochin is a great product Pochin is our traditional Irish spirit um, a lot of the the newer guys now are actually you know Pochin was only made legal relatively recently in 96 or something oh, like I, can't I can't remember the exact date of it and um, with things like the the Bunrati, the Bunrati, Bunrati. Uh, Pochin we bought a bottle of that for some reason I can't remember many many years ago but now probably from my father to rubbing his sore shoulder oh no that was the hooch stuff I mean <laughs> People know in Ireland you can still get potching, illegal yes. potching. And uh, it's good for arthritis and it's good for animals who have the cramp, like cows and horses and greyhounds. What about your itch? Could we rub it on your itch? My itch is fine now, look, it's grand. Would the potching fix it? No, it would probably sting like a mother. Yeah, but it would be a bit of crack. Um, so look, Sinead, over here we have, welcome back Sinead today, by the way, you were missing yesterday. Alan <laughs> had to step in in, in your stead. And, and did you fix your squeaky shoes as well? That's another thing as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> Balkan Pachin, uh, Brendan in Cologne. I mean, he's one of the great uh, advocates of Pachin and what he's done. He's uh, reviving old uh, uh, mash bills and how he make it. So, this is the Dead and Buried series. Uh, one of them is just a plain Pachin. One of them is Pinot Noir rested. Uh, again, 67.5, 67.9%. Batch one, batch one. Um, again, it's from Brendan Stills down there, which we all know are uh, flame fed. Beside that, we had another one of the Brendan's potchings. It was done for Bootleggers Bar in Belfast. Uh, that was a limited edition, only available down there. But 40%, again, people were buying that left, right and centre. And beside that, one of his small batch series, it's the the uh, his just original potching. Um, but he's varied the mash bills. He's done so much stuff. There's two guys, I suppose, that are, uh, you know, to do them justice, they have been really leading the charge, and that's uh, Cologne and Mulroy Bay, Boylock Distillery, Richard, Michael, Jennifer, Mary, Frank, whatever, whatever he calls is. herself, themselves these days. Um, he does use different <laughs> aliases, uh, and I suppose that's because up there. It depends on who was asking, which police officer or guard he was asking <laughs> as to which identity he provided for them. That's I'm not slandering you, Richard, Michael, Frank, Jennifer. Mary. Mary. But that's the truth. <laughs> uh, he's on, a, on, on a, a little cottage that he's renovated. Apparently, we haven't got up to it yet, yeah, which I'm mad see. to get up to it. But it's three miles off the road. Uh, we were talking at one stage about bringing the whiskey bus to it. I don't think that's doable. I think a helicopter will struggle to get to it. Uh, so uh, it's up there, literally perched on the side of it, overlooking Mulroy Bay, which is where he got his name from for these pot uh, And they're, they're gorgeous. Gorgeous. And and they're sneaky gorgeous. Yes. Uh, so I've tasted nearly them all at this stage. Uh, uh, the Madeira or the Marsala or the... Uh, I can't remember. It's something beginning with a name. I'm terrible with things. I'm doing bad actually at the minute. Portwood, uh, the peated port as well, and then just the plain potching. They're phenomenal drinks, but they're in their sixty percent. And when you drink them, you sort of think that's grand. Yeah, she's still the bottle. Look. And then you get up to walk, and your legs don't work anymore, and your lips aren't attached to your feet, <laughs> or it's just bananas. 
Uh, he's also got a bottle of Boylock the Father, which is the first cut that was done by Ian and the guys from Friends of Irish Whiskey. That's their pop still Boylock small batch Don't first go, cut. Pete. There's so many names on these things. I'm getting confused as to what it actually is. Is it potching? Is it pot still? Is it gibbledy gobbledy gook? What is it? That's what it is. And it peat, mash, ferment, pot of more. I like that. Pot of more. Pot of bug, and then dunnage. There you go. There you go. That's exactly how it's done. Distillery, distilling in a nutshell. Yep. Beside that, we've got a bottle of Gloria. And perhaps you'd like to discuss this, Keith. Oh, you can't beat the Gloria. It and when epic. can't you beat the Gloria, Keith? When you put it in with two stacks cream liqueur. Yes. And what have you created? Apart from a monster? Well, you call it a tiramisu. I call it a tiramisu. tiramisu. It's like... It's just, no. And then other people say it tastes like Kinder Bueno. It's just phenomenal. Yes. We can't keep it in the pub. No. So we, in the pub, it is... The cream liqueur, so yeah. the you know the stand, the, the double, the slightly bigger. Yeah, yeah, the double, yes, it yeah. is the double, well, and yeah. uh, just a shot of Gloria in it over, over ice, over ice, holy squirted moly. around a wee bit. Holy moly! They love it, don't they? Yes. Yeah, it is. It's a phenomenal drink. We are partitioning a uh, uh, cologne and two stacks to join together. To join together to and come put it together in a bottle. And put it in a bottle. I don't know if they can because of the production and yeah, all that sort of stuff. Can, and even probably. Brendan to sort of create enough of the Gloria. I reckon he stops making everything else and just makes Gloria. There's a business model for it. <laughs> or he builds another distillery, little, 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 little Cologne or Cologne Bug. Cologne Bug. Cologne Bug. And just make Gloria. And he uses the old Cristor that he got replaced Cristor because his arse was burnt. Is Cristor replaced? Well, I don't know. He was on about doing it. So yeah, put him if he did or on his own. Making shed loads of Gloria. But he can't because Chris Dorr's retired. If he changed them, he's retired because they are so of them. Yeah, but you'd you be grand for doing that. Oh, okay. well, we'll and to get on to a coffee that. crowd and just, I'm telling you, lads. Uh, beside that, a dough. <laughs> this is the two potchines or the, the two bottles of potchines from uh, Cologne and Blackwater. Uh, these were the two different releases. So one was. I uh, read it, it's on the website. <laughs> It just it's something I don't know what it is. It's 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 Blackwater. I mean, again, Blackwater are are one of the distilleries that are just creating unique mash bills. And again, I think they're a great partnership with Brendan up there as well. Uh, on the bottom rack, Sinead, we have the Kuiga, which was one of uh, the celebrity that is Brendan. Have I shut up enough about Brendan this month? You gotta give Brendan a bit of love. Uh, true, I do. Uh, Kuiga was one of the ones that he brought out. People went. Do lolly did it went bananas and you can see why it's a gorgeous presentation on a stave uh, carved out with the bottle sizes on it and then it does say uh, Kuga Pachin Cologne uh, I know guys had their uh, various favourites of the different ones there's Donard and uh, Mish and Duff and Lutty and Cali and all of them ones And but I know there was definitely favourites amongst the the glitterati of Pachin right uh, the second group that I'm yes that uh, we can't uh, mention that ca- do, those that, that cannot be named they are potching fiends yes. and literally potching fiends uh, I think that some of them have probably got the biggest personal collection uh, they've more potching than Brendan and Richard Michael Jennifer Mary combined right. they've a lot yes charity speaking of said group that group was also the instigators behind the jackpot and one of them again has decided to release a bottle for charity again. Good on him. Well done. Thank we you applaud very you. Much. Uh, and it's going to Bumbulance again. Uh, so that is a highly sought after bottle. I know that they've drank an awful lot of them. That group that shall not be named. And I bet you they probably don't even remember doing it. Oh, yeah, no. Most of them, in fairness to them, most of them were a bit lush now. Mm. I mean, they, they, they like the, they like their. Tipples. Drinky pools. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, they're all but they're all, But they're all great lads. How can you not have fun yeah, with them? They're I mean, all, seriously. They're freaking dead. These are they are. But you can't say their name in public because yeah. people get up in arms. And like, <laughs> you're probably calling people that. I think yeah. we all wear it like a badge of honour. You do. We are, you like, do. But we it, are a shower. Some people can find it offensive. Yeah. They'll get over it. They, they must be too. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> beside that is uh, a bottle of 
WD O'Connell. This was the Whiskey Bus exclusive. So this was mm -hmm. literally filled by the fair hand of the Whiskey Bus attendees. Uh, Dahi signature was there on the side of it. It rubbed off. I will get Dahi to sign it again if anybody wants it. He's not that famous. He's all right. I don't know if I'd want Dahi signature. You know, I mean, I could sign it for them if they want. I'm far more famous than Dahi. He leave Dahi alone. Like his beard and everything. It's curly and I don't know what that's about. I don't know what he was. His image. I don't know. But anyhow, Charles. Sorry, I went back to Dahi and, and the bottle. I digress. This is bottle number two. Uh, in fairness, Dahi does keep bottle number one. So if anybody wants to raid Dahi, he's got all the bottle number ones. Uh, but bottle number two from the Whiskey Bus exclusive. That was filled by the Whiskey Bus attendees. Uh, cleaned the bottle. Labelled. Wax dipped. Everything. They the all done it. Caboodle. The whole kit and caboodle. And then they got to keep it. So you cannot buy this bottle. It is only available. was only uh, gifted to the uh, Whiskey Bus attendees. But there's one and it's for charity and it's for Cork Penny Dinners. Uh, again, uh, uh, a charity close to the heart of Mr. Barry Chandler, yes. who is our resident uh, Cork um, spokesperson, because uh, he was so proud to bring the whiskey bus to Cork uh, that you know we had to do that as well to come around. Of course. So that's nearly it. The only other one thing I wanted to tell you about is we do have a, a, a special auction coming up at the end of this month, uh, starting on the 27th of September, uh, ending on the 1st of October. It is our birthday charity auction. Yes, it is. Nobody else is submitting bottles for this. Nope. Me, you and the team here are providing all the bottles we for are. this. Uh, and there, there's going to be, I'll tell you more about it, but it is going to be a cracking one. They're limited edition bottles. There's only going to be five bottles but there'll be more than five. So is that cryptic enough? That's cryptic enough. Yeah. And it, and just in case you haven't, it's to celebrate our fifth birthday. Yeah. So there'll be five bottles for our fifth birthday. Yeah. From... But anyhow, so you'll have to stay tuned. Sinead will be telling the world all about that, but that is going to be our very special. We've shoehorned it in, squeezed it in, just before our fifth birthday, which is the 12th of October. We're five years old. Five well, years I've been tolerating. It was five you. years since our first auction. Yeah. Oh, it's longer than five years yes. we've been at this crack. Yeah, yes. yeah, Doug Valley Point. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's it. Uh, we shall discuss the charity thing at a later date. Yes. But for now... Concentrate these, on this. Concentrate on this. Potcheen, two charity bottles, one for Cork Penny Dinners from the Whiskey Bus and one from the Jackpot from the Shower of... For bumblance. For bumblance. That's the shower of. You may just spell it out. I can't. See I'm... you next Tuesdays. No, we'll be here Monday as well. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>